Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So today lesson, we're going to do the progress bar. As you can see, this is the final version for the app. If I click here, I can see nice animation from A to Z. So let's go ahead and do that. This is very helpful if you want to show the user that something happened behind the scene, like get information from the internet, load image and the progress bar. This is very helpful in this. So let's go ahead and define something called cheap layer. So let's go ahead and let ship layer equal to C A ship layer this guy okay and let's go ahead and give this guy a path okay which we need so let's define the path. We have path called UI. Yeah, this guy. These are paths. And let's define the star center of the view, which is view center. At radius of 100 and start with angle 0 from here. Okay. And the angel, and the angel will be, this will be, you have to learn it from this. So it's 1 by from here start circle from here one by from here to here and full by is two by for full circle so i will show you in a moment so cg pi okay and with clockwise which mean from here and like this, this direction not the opposite okay and let's give it this guy so this guy will be a circular path dot cg path Alright, so let's add this to the view. Layer add sub layer and chip layer like this. Alright, so let's run this guy and see what happened. Alright, so we have half circle as I told you we have one by from start point from the circle until air. One by. So let's do it two by to have full circle as following. All right, so after we define the circle, so let's go ahead, go ahead and define the stroke. Okay, let's be shaped the stroke color equal to you color red and we need CG color. Okay, let's define the width, which is line width equal to 10 and let's go ahead and run this guy. As we can see we have the stroke so let's hide this stroke because we need to show it with the animation animation right so shape color stroke end equal to zero this will make this guy go away let's define um, um, uh, the just gesture just when you click in the view so add gesture and let's define UI tab just just the recognizer and will be self and the selector will be handle tab animation so let's define this guy in the new swift version you have to write this object C like this okay A private fun and this guy so let's run this guy, but we have to print something. Handle tab animation and run. And we see if we are if this work, okay? Yes, so it's working. So let's go ahead now and define uh, animation. But before define the animation, let's define the animation, okay? So let basic animation equal to ca basic animation and let's key and the key will be this guy stroke and okay and to animate the stroke only okay so basic animation dot two value equal to one 
make two value equal to one if you want to make the animation for the stroke okay and let's define the basic animation duration which is equal to two seconds okay and let's go ahead now and add this to the chip layer which is very easy we can't access this chip layer chip layer so we have to find it because it's an another function so let's make it public here and let's try again animation we have the basic animation of course and we have so this just make it any name you, you want here okay so it's basic animation okay uh, let's call it basic okay so now it should work this animation when we click it should make the yes so it's working perfect and as you can see is gone the uh the the thing the stroke so let's keep it by use two property basic animation okay dot fill mode equal to forward not removed we need to keep it right and basic animation is removable will be false so this should keep the stroke after the animation finish oh sorry we have mistake here so bingo let's keep the stroke doesn't gone so let's hide the circle the black circle okay this, this very easy okay so let's go ahead here and fit use something called fill color it's equal to your color with the clear clear make transparency make it transparency okay dot he needs cg color okay As you can do circle, so it's okay. So it's work perfect. So last, me there is if I click again, see it's very sharp here. Okay, all line sharp. Let's make it uh, not sharp. Okay, but this also can be done very easy. This should do the trick okay as we can see it's not sharp okay so this is a very good property and uh let's do define let's do two things now let's instead of start in this here okay let's start from the top angel okay which is very easy okay if we come to start angel here okay and go in the other direction not the color wise use the minus and we go back dive it in two okay so let's go ahead and minus 3g float on two okay so this will start from here the start engine not from there so go two by mean that go like this okay so g float okay and this will start from the top because we go to and uh, to buy okay the width and buy so we have i will show you see we start so this two buy okay and this one buy from there so go to half here okay david buy two so hope this is clear and you can this search in google if you need more information about this so so far so good that's now the last step define the track color which will be very easy if we go ahead and copy and paste this guy and call it track color okay and let's take these guys here okay stroke and pet and etc but we need the bat because we need we follow the same path right so so we have here a 
let's call it suck there and the stroke will be something else not uh, let's go light degree okay so it's, this is very good light degree this will make since we need to show the stroke we don't need to hide it right so add the track cg color and let's go ahead and try okay so run this guy one more time okay so we don't have the track color okay uh, because we don't define the bat like this guy so let's define the bat as we can see guys it's work perfect but it has circle as well so as you can see we know to hide the circle from this guy right it's very easy now yeah we should have anything work perfect now so as we can see guys it's work perfect so this is very helpful if you want to show the user something is loading behind the scene you can make a label in the middle called percentage and when they start the operation this will be load load lo loading okay thank you uh, thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel and the source code will be available to you to use it for your own project in the description below and yeah that's for listen today and see you in the next lesson bye